Hey guys, what's up? How are all of you doing? This is Minox Civil Pro, and today I'm going to show you how to import a file from AutoCAD to Tecla. So uh, many guys have doubts on how to import and what are the things which are involved in importing from importing any CAD file to Tecla Textile Designer. So I'm going to just uh, try to clear all of your queries, and even after this video, if you have any query in particular, uh, you can just uh, reach out to me in the comment section and uh, I'm sure I'll try to help you out in the software and if you like this video and if you learn something go ahead the like button and also if you have any like minded friends who want to learn you can share with them also okay so now uh, this is a basically a plan which you are seeing this is a plan in mm and you can import this into tecla structural designer so but before that you will need a beam column plan this is only an architectural plan and i have removed all the dimensions doors windows etc because you don't need them in the structural things so this is only an architectural plan to import it you need to make the beam column plan so uh, now this is the tecla structural interface so let's make it ready so that we can import any plans first of all uh, you open a new file and you straight away go to the construction levels and uh, you can uh, insert a level below this and we give this uh, uh, less spacing of let's say minus 1.5 that is the, your foundation level let this be your plinth level and give it in a, you know level above this and uh, make this uh, level with the slab SSL structural slab level spacing of let's say 3.2 meters and uh, give a slab thickness of 150 mm so this is basically uh, on building all with only a ground floor let's give another floor so G plus one building, uh, these are the levels which has been inserted. So we'll just click on OK and we'll go basically to the plinth level and we'll check out what are the, the you know, various ways in which you can import the files. So first of all, uh, to make keep things basic, I have opened a new AutoCAD file. There is no settings and uh, you know text settings and height settings done. Nothing is done. So you need to start afresh. So, so first of all, I'm going to make a very uh, simple beam column plan to just uh, be familiar so that you can be familiar with all the things here okay so first of all I'm going to just uh, basically go U and enter that is the unique settings so here uh, what I'm going to do is the unit I'm going to keep as mm so I'm just going to see this in millimeters and click on ok so unit has been set to mm's and uh, annotate i'm going to just select a text if it is necessary uh, create go to new t100 i'm going to give and this height basically i'm going to take 150 and any text uh, style will do uh, i love times new roman and I'm going to click on apply and set current in case you need any text you don't know dimensions also i'll go and create a new dimension style t100 and uh, click on continue and after that just the primary units will check it and then text we just make this t100 which you have just created alignment dimension line and arrow size i'm going to give 150 same as text size and then click on ok and then set current the basic things which we can do in every cat file okay so now uh, once we have done this now i want to uh, just remove this uh, grid lines click on f7 it will be removed and after that uh, just i'm going to just going to take a rectangle here and let's take a rectangle uh, i've just left clicked of the rectangle and i'm going to do a four four meter by four meter rectangle so i'm going to type here 4000 comma 4000 so i'm going to just uh, zoom out here so suppose this is one single room uh, and uh, uh, we have the uh, 250 mm wall suppose so I'm going to take an offset here and 250 mm will be my wall okay so this is the wall here okay so we are going to make some columns before that you can put the columns in separate layer as well if you want so let's just uh, see what is the layer is this is the basic G0 layer and for creating just you can go to layer properties and uh, you just going to click this button and this will give you a new layer you have the shortcut here as well you can do this using that so we'll just type here uh, columns here 
and I'm going to give a separate color if not too much separate uh, just going to go with this red color just to denote and the columns so uh, just going to take the rectangle here and select this point and select this point and just select this and make this you know columns here and also uh, I want to just make the current layer also as columns and then use patch and a and then enter and then uh, we'll just hatch inside the por column portion so I'll select the column here and then copy and then paste the columns in all the locations which you want select this like this copy just put it here and then escape select this again copy put it here when you're using AutoCAD or Teclist actually any uh, any drafting or designing thing, make sure one hand or your one hand is in the mouse and one hand is in the keyboard. So it will just make your process easier. So now once we have this and after that, next important thing is the center line. So I'm just making this a demo so that how can you import this. So basically we have the beams and then we have the column location. Next thing which you need is center line. So can make a separate layer here uh, and uh, name this as your center line or CL and uh, you can go with any color here uh, if you want suppose I'm just going to give this particular color for the center line and uh, I'm just going to close this current layer and we'll just give the center line I'm going to take a simple line here like this take from the center point sorry take it again take from the center point go a bit up ortho is on escape select this select this point and go a bit down remember ortho is on here so there is no worries click on escape select this copy select this paste it here like this similarly take a line you can start from here escape copy select the center point and then the center point selected so this is the center line as you can see the center line is in a separate layer here so once this thing has been done now it is ready for import but you have to convert it into a specified format so remember the thing there shouldn't be any overlaps in this particular uh, you know uh, diagram which we are drawing so suppose there should be any in a double lines multiple lines so that your uh, important structure doesn't have any problems and your center line must be compulsory compulsorily in a separate layer and you should know the unit of this particular plan as you can see here the unit which you have used is mm here so this unit you should know okay so after that you save this file uh, first of all you have to save this as a twg file i'm going to just save it in my desktop for now and I'm going, to, I'm going to see D1 uh, for the DWG file, save and I'm going to save it as a DXF file as well. So, shortcut is DXF uh, OUT DXF out and just and click on enter. And if you're you know having difficulties observing this, what I'm typing, make sure to switch to the highest quality before continuing uh, towards the video. So, I'm going to just save this as a D1 DXF and click on save. So once I have saved this DXF file, uh, you, you if this file is open in DXF, you might need to close it. Otherwise, it will create some problems in Tecla. So first of all, in a base level, I am going to import this. So I'll go to model here, and then using this symbol, I'll just uh, click on import DXF. So uh, I'll just uh, go quickly to the DXF file location, which is my desktop here. Click on open. And now comes the interesting part. First of all, you want to import the architectural grids, which you know is in CL. So you don't need uh, select all. Just select the CL here. Don't need to uh, you know do anything with this, and uh, just uh, you know give this unit as mm. You want this modify DXF units as in, into mm, and mm, just click on your next and then click on by layer and if you want you can import it in all the layers here 
if you have different uh, floor plans this you are you need to import it uh, separately click on finish so as you can see the grids have been imported i clicked on escape grids have been imported so next uh, this grid uh, you know actually can be imported in all the software the important thing is that how to import the shadow so shadow can be imported similarly go again import txf select your txf file click on open and uh, this time unselect the center line select shadow select the DXF units as mm and then click on finish uh, sometimes you might need to zoom in a little bit okay and your file is done so what is the importance of this uh, thing now if you want to just create any columns uh, just select I'm just showing briefly uh, how to do these things and the columns is selected if you want the columns at center just press ctrl plus z and uh, using automatic alignment so if you just select columns and you, you know you just select this and uh, your element alignment would be at the center so you can select this like this so i say left clicking every point or simply just drag it like this uh, all the intersection points of the grid lines will be automatically selected so and after that you can simply go with the beams here and uh, as you can see in the structure 3d here and you can next copy this construction levels here so just uh, give this as your base and then click on ok after that make sure you go to construction levels and make this source as unique before giving any changes before because you want to make a slab in these two levels ok so go to slab on beams and then uh, go double click on the structure in which you want to provide the slabs just click on the slab slab on beams and then uh, click on the this particular slab and then go to structure 3d and then go to orientation levels make this source as your one and then click on ok so once this is done uh, click on escape your model is ready and you have just shown you a procedure very simple one how to import a file from you know autocad to the tecla structural designer software hope this helps if there is anything make sure you comment below have a nice day. Bye-bye.